five sets again on the road. Uh, you guys eventually pulled out. Just want to comment on the game a little bit today. Um, yeah, I don't really know what it was. I think we were just just had a mental lapse in the middle of the game there. Um, but clearly we can dominate them as we did in mm -hmm. the fifth game. Um, but yeah, so I think we just got to refocus, especially for next week, and try to get teams earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Coach was kind of doing like the talk, you know, motion. Was just that a little bit not talking well enough? I know you guys did pick um, that up a little bit. I think it wasn't even necessarily talking. It was just hesitation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we kind of looked to see if somebody was going to get the ball, and then it was too late, and then the ball was too late, so... I think that's something we need to definitely pick up on. What worked so well in the first two sets? Um, I think just being aggressive, going for it. Uh, we were talking about having a short memory, and uh, you know, if they get a good kill, you know, get the next play, doesn't matter. It's one kill. So I think that's just what we need. To this seems like this is a typical Eastern Western game. They always yeah. play you guys really tough. Yeah, I think a lot of people play us really tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we're lucky, but that people give us like, their best every night. But at the same time, it's <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Yeah. On the show, just a typical Western Eastern game there. You know, they played you guys really tough. Um, what was working so well in the first uh, two sets of this game? I think the first two sets, we came out strong. Um, fast start had a lot to do with it. And we were um, confident. We were second-guessing ourselves. I think uh, later on in three and four, we started to, you know, sit back. And we, we know we can't do that. I don't know why we did it. But in game five, we knew we could pull it out. So we were good. Right. That's another fifth set on the road. And mm -hmm. that's got to feel confident. Two nights in a row on the road, you can pull a fifth set. Right. Because, um, I mean, these road games are so important because it is a different atmosphere. So you have to come extra focused. So this is definitely going to help us go into the MAC tournament, especially if we're going to be on the road in a new gym. It's going to be very good for was it just maybe not talking as much in the third and fourth sets? I saw a coach, you know, do the talk motion. You guys seem to pick it up a little bit after that, though. Right. It's common for uh, volleyball players when you get down, you, you get quiet, and you start going into yourself. Um, but fifth game, we knew that we could come out of it, and we started talking more, and we won. So. Fifth set, you know, Jill got that big block, and oh, then yeah. you guys got the bad call but didn't let you down, mm -hmm. and then you just kept going from there. Right, because we couldn't let those errors, you know, turn into three and five like we did before in the other game. So um, that's why I think it worked out for us. Colleen, you know, another fifth set. You guys ended up pulling it out. Um, what was just the, that fifth set especially? You know, we, we were focused. We were ready to take care of business, and um, we're really proud of both nights uh, winning in five because that's something, something that we've been struggling with doing. We have stronger as mass progress. Although um, Eastern came out really fighting hard in three and four, we just in our locker room discussed um, we shouldn't have been in that situation to be in five. Right, and then you know, Jill had that big kill or not kill block in yeah. uh, set five. You got the bad call, then let it get you down. You know, Michelle right. said we just kept going, kept going. That's what basically happened there. Yes, we took advantage of the situation, and we know that you know there's going to be some bad calls and there's going to be some good plays. And from the other side, we just took advantage of what we can do on our side. What was working so well in those first two sets? We were establishing the tempo early. We were establishing the tempo and taking care of business. Um, we allowed them to get into the match in three and four, and they played hard, and they, they gained confidence as they went. And, you know, a couple of the girls said, you know, we kind of slashed a little bit in third and three and four. Is that kind of just what happened? Yeah, I don't think there's a really, there's an answer. Um, we knew it was happening. They were they were really working hard. They were over trying almost to, to make that um, exceptional play when we just needed to relax and play our game, and, and it would take care of itself. What's well, just maybe not a matter of talking, because I know I saw you do the talk, 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 and, mm -hmm. you know, it seemed like they picked it up right after that, though. Yeah, you know, it's a matter of um, one play turns into two or three great plays, and um, we can't press, we can't make it happen um, any other way. What needs to change going into the MAC tournament? <coughs> Excuse me, I was trying to hold off. Um, you know, I think we don't need to change, we don't need to reinvent the wheel, we just need to be confident with what we're doing, and it's a new slate for everybody. And I think we're ready for that, and we're, we're taking care of business um, this week in practice, and we'll be ready. Basically focusing on your side of the net. Absolutely. Thing you've always been... Yes, stressing. you remember from last year. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's all we can control. We can't control the um, what our opponent's doing, with the exception of um, putting them, um, putting ourselves in situations to stop them. So we need to be um, confident on our side, and we'll take care of that.